to gain a heavyweight contest of six fighting rounds, two balls, two submissions, or one tail to decide the winner. My wish to introduce you on my right, the blood of the from Ellsmere for Cheshire, the Hasmi Steele. And also my wish to introduce you on my left, from Nottingham, we have So the main bout of the afternoon's program at heavyweight, once again, six five-minute rounds, two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide this winner. Steve Beder, Ellesmere Port, 15 stone one. Bob Abbott, Nottingham, 15 stone one. So no difference at all weight-wise, but it's quite a lot in the height, of course. Steve has advantage height. Steve Beder in his usual light yellow trunks. Ernest Ball win the ref, and here we go for round one. Well, there's no weight advantage, just a little height advantage, that's all to Vito. Of course, a tremendous advantage is an experience to Vito. Because his opponent, Bob Abbott, the Nottingham heavyweight, uh, I think the first time we saw him on television was uh, in 73. He's been a pro for a little longer than that, but Vida, of course, a great deal longer. Half Nelson now, Abbott, as he goes for the near arm leader as well. Back hammer on from under. What? And the first pinfall what? chance to Abbott. Come on, Steve! Come on, Vida! Interesting to see how soon Vito's experience will start to show. At the moment, Abbott trying to attack all the time. Paul Nelson here. Nicely from Abbott, nicely over the top for a shoulder press. Vito very surprised by that one, nearly too surprised. It almost became the first fall. The reached crotch hold, but no slam from it because the headlock was on. Side head chancery being held firm there by Peter despite the attempts to counter it. But Bob Abbott what? successfully countered it. Quickly throw back hammer, which he didn't want to hold. Just goes for the shoulder press. A bit early for that. Yes, it must be too early for that. So Vida has to try something else. No point in continuing with that one. <laughs> Vida double-handed wrist lever, perfectly placed. Trying to force his man to lose balance. Still got it. Just 
until the wrist lever main leg speed are going for and that's why to follow it down with a double leg Nelson one minute left in the first very nice anyway, this Bob Abbott we shall, we shall see more of him if he goes on like this in the first round really doing well Lovely turn to it straight on that one. And he's still holding it. Half a minute he's got to make something out of this. Still got that arm, that arm of Vida in a straight arm. The arm lock is on now. Just five seconds. He's left it too late this time. Well, from the letters I get, I know that many grapple fans agree with me when they say, when are we going to see Steve Vito have another chance at Rocky Wall's British heavyweight title? Well, I too would love to see that, and I hope that if, if, if it's not at the Albert Hall or someplace, I'm afraid it uh, probably might be, in which case we won't be televising it. But if it should be on television, that will be really what I'd like to see. He's taken him twice, lost twice, but only just the second time. And I know he, Steve Vito himself, would love that third go. Second away, round two. Round two. Five to go, no score. Two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide this winner. And for the uninitiated, a fall is when a man holds his opponent's shoulder blades down to the canvas for the count of three in the time of seconds. Steve Beter in the light yellow trunks versus Bob Abbott from Nottingham. Bob Abbott surely giving Steve Vitter a great deal more trouble than he anticipated. Oh, lovely whip, final whip though. Flying tackle attempt by Abbott and he gets it, he gets off balance but can't be to throw him. He just throws him off on the final two. Practically on to the referee on his goal whip. Missed him, missed him. Steve goes for the double arm underneath. Beautifully handled. And that's the shoulder press from the double arm. And a smile on Vito's face. As if to say, a good effort, boy, but that one got you. Watching the main bout of the afternoon's program in a Burrell and Beresford promotion here at the St. George's Hall, Bradford. And this one could be a real main bout. Although we've got three heavyweight contests this afternoon, this one looks as if it's going to be a humdinger. Four rounds to go. Leader in the light trunks, leading Bob Abbott by one fall to nil at the start of the third. Over the top for a folding press behind. It's out of it, goes for a double arm stretch. And using the head rather than the shoulders there, one foot. Maybe hoping in vain, I'm afraid, for a submission. Come on, Peter! Will Abbott be tempted to go for those legs? Have to leave. Yes, he's gone for them, and that's exactly what Vida wanted. And Abbott knows the mistake he made. <laughs> Abbott grinning now, and both of them treating that as a, a good little gag there, good fun. If it keeps up like this, great. Hard fought battle, but sporting all the way up to now. Hey. 
2-0 win here, but thrown off on two. Steve Vita leading by one fall to nil. And almost made it two to nil then. Just one more second with Abbott's shoulder blades on the canvas. That would have been it. George's Hall Bradford would be pretty disappointed to see the end of this boat because so early because it really has the makings of a good one. Oh, First double leg Nelson, he's got three seconds. <laughs> the man who, uh, from Nottingham, Bob Abbott, 15 stone one, who has trained as an amateur uh, two years at the same local club in Nottingham as Al Nickel very much more well-known name in the wrestling business. He turned pro in 1968, but only part-time. He's in the hosiery trade, hosiery trade, and of course, a fanatic in all sports. Soccer had trials for Nuts County at one time. Round four, three rounds to go. Still Vito in the light yellow trunks, leading Abbott. One fall to nil. Vito trying to make it 2 nil. Very hard here. He nearly had it for the last round and he was on his way then. Uh, 
have a treat with that arm lock. Oh, getting the shoulder blades off almost at will and Abbott knows it gets up good whip play on it caught Peter with one of his own tricks there Abbott really coming in now oh this completely mistimed that and not a very good landing either Abbott's in trouble, I think, from that landing. I tell whether it's the, the arm or the leg, but here going in with the crutch hold and the slam. Surely he must know. Maybe he was kidding us all. He was kidding Vito too, and it worked. Excellent equalizer by Abbott. Fooled everybody at ringside here, especially Vito, who's grinning all over his face now. He really fell for that one. The old Mick McManus trick tried there by Bob Abbott, fooling his opponent and me, incidentally, at ringside here, that he was in trouble from that fall the way he landed, got up quickly and unexpectedly from it, and got Vida very easily following that move. Two rounds to go, one fall each. Round five. We will have to watch that now. He's still smiling from that, that way that he fell for that trick. Come on. A little too near the ropes there. Pull on Rabbit to Abbott. Turning it to a stranglehold from the front here. He's got a couple of neat ideas, this man, Abbott. We'll see more of him. I bet if my old friend Norman Morell, the Olympic wrestler turned promoter, is watching this this afternoon. It won't be long before we see Bob Abbott on television again. Really put up a great show against the vast experience, the skill of Peter. Nelson, but a folding press coming back from Vida, no, too late. Had to cut without a trouble, so but another one, cross press for now. And Abbott really causing Vida some trouble. He might even get the winner here. Golden aside, had not this Vida on the side this time, he's got room. Side cross press, beautiful folder. Oh, that could have gone either way. Bad luck, any of them, either of them had to lose there. It had to be Bob Abbott. Vida the winner. In round five, just under two minutes gone, and his block house, beautiful box. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. After one minute and 56 seconds, uh, round five, a big ball for the Northern Control Press, and the winning ball to Steve Beale. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.